give you a bloody video game POV now. There you go. What was the time? Let's not talk about the time. Thank you, mate. Watch that edge. That's it. Should always check before I start, shouldn't I? Good Tuesday. Good Tuesday, the 5th of March. Another new job. We finished that wall yesterday, which you probably will have seen by now. Today, I've got a van full of gear. All the gear ready to go. And that's the job. That there canopy. Because it's rotten and concrete cancer set in, it's customers thinks it's dangerous well full of cracks I wouldn't like it up there They're not really serving a purpose so they want it out of the way um, and it's going to be replaced with like a timber canopy so uh, we're here to do the uh, the grunty bit the, the taking out and the patching and making good so obviously the uh, I don't know what you call them the brackets they're coming out as well so all the brickwork with the brackets are built in needs patching up the thing will be built into the brickwork so we need to cut it back as far as we can so we can get the acros and strong boys in and once we can do that we can take the uh, take the thing out and patch the brickwork up we've got some reclaim commons and we've got some old Aldridge multi rustics for the patching the pier <coughs> patching the piers there's Alex that way. patching the piers so they're nice snatch the only thing with these is the uh, the length, Let's see, yeah, they're quite a bit shorter. <coughs> so I'm hoping to get the, the headers from up there and spin them and use them as a stretcher, but we'll have to see. Uh, you cannot get the bricks at that length anymore. And these, these, these are quite short. These and um, that little pile there, not counting the hop up and the cup, that was 24 quid. That for those. So that's why brick walls cost so so much now. Because bricks are damn expensive. So so um, we have um, we have another new tool to add to our arsenal from Milwaukee, which I'll show you in a bit. Okay, still in the van. Yeah, still in the van. It's um, it's basically an SDS plus plus, isn't it? SDS plus. Yeah, the Max is the big one. It's an SDS plus, but it's um tool you'll normally see us using which we've used for years it's a replacement for that without a cable thank you you need to have entertainment value you can't just talk yeah. and show the floor i'll show the tools i will show them the walkie stuff uh, that's, that's, that's not the walkie stuff that's the wire i bet you see the radio anyway we're gonna get this scaffold up and um, have a look see what we're doing And this is what we've got. Four rows of commons on top. This concrete support. Well, these concrete supports and then this concrete. I'm, I'm probably 90% sure it's going to be reinforced. Uh, so we're just going to start basically get the lump hammers on it and knock it about a bit, see what happens. There's the, uh, the new piece of kit out to throw. Hold it up for the camera, please, Al. This came with um, <laughs> this came with um, a rapid charger and a, a battery. Thoughts? Well, it's nice and light. Yeah, we've been waiting for that one, haven't we? Yeah. The the SDS Max we've got. I think I ordered that by mistake, so we finally got the. Uh, we've basically got um, the right tools for every job now. The Max is good for demolition, but this is what we need for this kind of job. Drilling and chipping and yeah. utility stuff, yeah, light, light work. It's perfect. And again, no cable in the way. So made up with that. And we've got we've got an absolute load of batteries now, haven't we? Yeah. 
we've got um, so I've got three 12 amp hour batteries now we've got two 6 amp hour forge batteries some 5.5s and the smallest batteries we've got are fives like four 5.5s yeah Is the, uh, the charging station. So yeah, made up with that. So let's start with the big hammer now. There we go, four hours, I have to go back down and I'll just turn the radio off. So there you, there's your weak spots, there's your concrete cancer, which isn't that bad really, considering that that is only 10 mil below the surface of the concrete, and this is probably 70 years old, this house. That isn't bad. Although this corner is well, well weathered, you can see it's, this, this corner's gone a bit, but this reinforcing is in bad condition. But it is rusty. Anyway, what we're doing is we're hitting it up so we're not putting too much stress on these. And we're just going to nibble it back. I was going to use the cutter, but we can do without the dust, so we'll stick with it this way. Right, we've made a mess. The canopy is now on the floor. It's all the reinforcing, which is in excellent condition. It's just surface rust. It's a tiny bit of surface rust. It just blew a bit here. You see where the, where the concrete's dirty. It just it blew a little patch off here, but apart from that, it's, um, it's in uh, excellent condition for its age. You've seen some of the state of the lintels that we pull out. That's probably the worst section there. As you can see, it's not, it's still really strong. Good job bending that. It's just surface, see underneath. So, as you can see, these brackets, gallows brackets, are built in. So, obviously, all this bit has to come out down to there, and then we can build the pillar back up. This is coming out, we've got a row of commons to go back in there. So, <coughs> Now we can get at it, we can get a couple of strong boys and acros into the wall in here and here and uh, get this thing out. I'm hoping it's just built in 100 mil and there's a cavity behind it so we can get it out but obviously this is in the way, it's going to, there's probably going to be, mind you that's, hopefully that's the last horizontal running level with the house but it's a, uh, it's good concrete, it's solid concrete so we're going to give this little rascal a try now. We'll see what shall we get on. <coughs> Action. So we've had a go with our new hammer drill, which is absolutely fantastic. But uh, instead of just trying to bash it out and disturb everything else, we've got this sawzall, and it's only black mortar underneath. So I'll show you how soft that is. Yeah, I think we better get masks. Very dusty now, isn't it? That's, 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 uh, that's nearly loose. Excellent.
save them down the floor there. Well, you went down with the sawzall? Yeah. Gone underneath and over the top of the sawzall, it's now, now loose. I've drilled out that end. So, the reinforcer's handles to, to persuade it out. Just clear your just clear all that out of the way. Knock the, knock the bed off. It's not gonna take that acro out, is it? It's already wobbling it. Well that's not stopping it. Huh. That's not stopping it. Yeah, because this end's coming out nicely. Yeah, you're, you're on the acro too. Ah. Yeah, I pushed the acros in as far as I could so they didn't bend. So, we're going to have to try and... We're just going to have to um, demolish it out. Oh, that's not going to bend. 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 Send it to me. Send it to me. Yep. So yeah, I'll send it to you. I'm not Filming. Oh yeah. And we're done. Happy days. And we're in. It's like on the Matrix, I can smack Agent Smith with this. Yeah. As you can see, we've got a lip. So I spoke to the customer and we discussed it and I said, we'll put a fillet on it for now, like a strong strong mix mortar to fillet it. Same for these pillars when we rebuild these back up. And um, it can probably have a, maybe dressed with lead or even left because it's having the canopy over the top, it's having the porch roof over the top. I think it's a, it's a timber porch but it's an open porch. 
I think it's like a couple of legs and a timber roof on it, so that's the plan. So now that's that thing out, that's the hardest bit. Now it's to get these two supports out and this brickwork out. And then, um, yeah, hope these soldiers stay in place. I might even do one side at a time. Otherwise those soldiers are sat in thin air. Oh, or we might end up rebuilding the soldiers. We'll, uh, we'll have to see. Right, uh, I didn't see the camera behind me. <laughs> so um, that side's out. This um, internal lintel's a cast concrete. So this is all solid, there's no cavity here, so we're going to just fill that gap in there and then we can get our bricks on top. And then this uh, solid um, soldier course, which... Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe we go and get an angle line for this. And then just rebuild the soldiers. Oh, it's all open. Yeah. Yeah, jobs escalate as usual. Yeah. This is all still in but only just and it's not sat on any lintel as you can see. So I can't just build it back like that. I'm gonna have to speak to the customer. And won't be an extra label, just the chip that's cost of a lintel. Which we can go and get when we go and get the stuff anyway. Well, we're about as far as we'll be on a lintel job anyway. Yeah. <coughs> it's just going to be hard to clean these bloody bricks up. It's hard to get this black stuff off. Yeah. And we do, can't break any. <laughs> so we need seven for each side of these. So we've got to go to Bursco anyway. For another seven. No, four. So we get half a dozen. So we get six bricks, we've got enough for both sides and probably spares in case we break any of these. So um, yeah, I've um, took this side out. It really is like cobbled together. I weren't worried about damping insulation when you built these, that's for sure. As usual, the acro's in the way. Excuse the filming, I'm doing one handed here. There we go. I think I'll lift that up one handed. Bloody hell, you grab all that thing. Do you have the trowel? This could probably um, be gotten rid of and there's still lintel will be shown, won't it? Yeah. We'll leave it in for now. Is that, is that filming? Yeah. Okay, so that's what those soldiers were sat on.
that's what the soldiers are set on. And then you've got this lintel that's been cast in situ. So that's going nowhere. So um, I think we should pack all the gear up, go to Ken's, get rid of all the stuff, get the sand, go to burst, go and get the bricks, and then head home and get cavity tray equipment just in case we want to put a tray in it. Where are you going to put it? Off the lintel, up there. Up into the, see the underneath the other one. So it's still got a, still got a tray then, hasn't it? Now it's all opened up. Then we'll both go because it's, it's going to be a, le a good hour. So while you're cleaning bricks, or while I'm cleaning bricks, you get a mix in. But you I thought the whole oh. point was get all the rubbish. Yeah, get rid of the rubbish now. Yeah, Ken's but, first. Yeah, we'll clean the bricks. We'll oh, clean the bricks now then. Yeah. Right, we'll get both scratches out, get some new combs in it and get that done. Got no combs? Oh no, these three in the band, didn't they? Oh well. We'll just have to move the rail. As usual. Brick Lane and Stephen Hart's job has evolved, as it always does. So I think we'll be able to get rid of this, because our lintel's going across there now. We also need a piece of timber for to prop the lintel on. Right. We'll have to leave that in overnight. Uh, there's the nasty Cast, situ lintel, cast in situ lintel, brick and edge, then a cavity tray, so we're going to try and tuck one on the top of that. Which is going to be hard with that lintel in the way, but um, we'll sort something out. And we've got these two pillars to build back up, one, two, three, four, four courses. And then we've got the commons to go across that top course. So, we didn't know there was a tray in there and we've, we've destroyed the tray, so new tray going in. And Alex is going to clean the bricks up while I knit back home and get the cavity tray stuff. I could just get a roll of damp, but we've got about how many? Hours? About six rolls now. Yeah. Because every time we forget a roll of damp, we buy a new one, so I'm not buying any more. So, customers agreed for us to put a new lintel in, so that's going to be picked up. There's our soldiers, which are going to be cut down, because they're going to um, come in line with this course. So, hey Al. They might not need cutting down because that trim's coming out. Right. So we'll see. We'll see anyway. So we're all propped up, nice and safe. Doors nice and clean because it was covered up. So we're gonna have a good clean up. Now I'm going home to get the stuff. Then we're gonna have a clean up and head to our yesterday's job. We've got to skip, get rid of all that. And we've also got sand left there. So that's that. Right, cleaning up is almost done. It's, uh, it's a lot of bag. You wouldn't expect. You never expect this to be a lot, but there you go. So an unfortunate incident is while Dad was taking down this part, he's obviously knocked the the tile off and smashed it. So we're doing a bit of research and managed to find the exact one. So, once once that gets back, we'll get that ordered, order it, it's ordered to to the address, and um, and yeah. Obviously, an unfortunate thing, but at least it's not. It wasn't too hard to find. We just had to uh, do a good old picture search. But customers gonna say just just glue it back together, <laughs> but the corner's missing. But there we go. So once we get that sorted, and then Dad will be back with the lintel, we can get this done properly. So we'll catch you in a bit.
didn't take long. That didn't take long. Thank you, mate. Watch that edge, that's it. What was the time? Let's not talk about the time. I think the sun's nearly set. Quarter to six. And the brickwork's in, finally. Like Dad just like Dad just said, that just turned into a monster. All all that just because there was no lintel. And uh, well, and there's no lintels on any of them because I've. You hit a point of no return, so you just got to press on. Yeah, because um. You see that, there's that crack there. The window, the next door have the exact same crack. I've only given it a rough point up because we're actually gonna, we're actually gonna put a lintel in there. So that's just a temporary patch up for the crack. And then when we get back, obviously we'll be taking all that out and giving it a proper, a proper do up. But there we are. So now it's just left the point in, a bit of haunching to sort out this, whatever's going on here and uh, tidy up the rest. So we'll see, set you up and then we'll see you for the finale. I just got the light on, you bloody jinxed us. I didn't jinx it, I just knew. Thank you. I could tell by looking how, how we were looking.
Bloody video game POV now. There you go. Well, there you go. I have to shine a light up to it, but it's finished. And the same as all our jobs that take us till dark. You look at that and think, why did that take you nearly 12 hours? A, lo a lot of different reasons. But it's done. Fiddly, fiddly. Hey? Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Yes. And a trip to home and Bershko Fields. That's an hour over it. An hour and a quarter in the van. And I've got the job changed in the end of the day. So. But yeah, that's, that'll be the end of our, of our horrific tale today. <laughs> Thank you all. Let me. Oh, no. It does, yeah. Let me give myself a bit of spotlight. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed, be sure to give us a like. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. Or else, uh, it's a massive help for the channel. We greatly appreciate the support. You can't see anything, Dad. <laughs> and any additional support you'd want to give for this man's sick fund. <laughs> There's the super thanks under the video or dad's PayPal in the description. Not necessary by any means. It's just a uh, extra way of supporting the channel, which is always greatly appreciated. This has been Brick Lane with Steve and Alex with a, uh, a very difficult. Hey, you ever said it's about what, half six and we're going to drop the rubbish off now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will see you in the next one. Oh, oh.